don't even know how to use these items I'm getting. <laughs> well, that's what happens when I push the, uh... So this is a button for playing off TV, and that's what I'm doing now. The audio's coming out of my gamepad. That sounds pretty good. You know what, you guys just hang out like this, and I'll just keep playing the game I'll just like describe gamepad. it. He's moving across the different hexes. He's looking at maybe doing one of the levels called Desert Ruins. It's the Donut Zone 3. It's the Donut Zone 3? It's the Donut with an ice cream cone. Yeah. I remember the do the the don't the uh, the dessert level of Sonic Colors being one of the better levels. Yeah. What? Dessert does. That's dessert. pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Even the developers didn't want to deal with another desert. Oh level. my god, that's so funny. What? That they're all desert ruins, and then there's just one level that's dessert ruins. <laughs> that's. This funny. is a really cool level. If, if the rest of the game was half as clever as this, it would be pretty good. What the fuck? But, like, what other wordplay could they possibly do? I don't know. That's for them to figure out. I mean, nothing as good as this, obviously, but they could try. It's also a really cool level. Well, it's certainly not a desert, so... I'm for it. It looks like it's mostly Twizzler-based, which I'm alright with. Yeah, Oreos! Off-brand Oreos. There's Hydrox. It's a Hydrox. You too? I what keep making mean? Hydrox jokes to Nicole, and she keeps going like, "What's Hydrox?" And I'm like, "Motherfucker!" It sounds like a type of drywall. <laughs> no, it's like it's like <laughs> the most well-known off-brand of Oreo. Why would they call it Hydrox? It's such a like a because like, like there's two name. there's like two cookies, so it's two. Wait, that's not right. That would be Bydrox. Yeah. I have no idea. Hey, remember those from Sonic 3? Yes. Two. Yes. And also Unleashed. Yeah. Had a lot of those. No? Yeah. Those little cannons? Yeah, what are you talking about? Unleashed had a ton of those. They were, oh, they were different, though. They didn't look like that. No, but they were cannons. If, I guess you what could call What are those little it? duck bot bots? Ant bots? Oh, okay. Oh, because they're eating the snacks. I get it. Oh. Like, why, like, okay, I kind of was trying to touch on this earlier, and it didn't really work. What I meant about the ladybug thing is, like, why is Robotnik why playing is? into the niche of his level, of the level design? <laughs> like, why is his robot design meshing so well? No, he's, because that's what the landscape requires. If you're going to take over a forest, you need forest animals that know how to get around a forest robot something. I don't know, man. I like how it just like. Would it be so hard to ask if those cannons face me when I enter them like yes, they did like in like, fucking Sonic 2? He fucking swoops up and over them somehow? What was that? Did you see that? Sonic is not all powerful. We established this. This is the theme. We're constantly established. Yes. Contrary to popular belief, he's not omnipotent. There doesn't seem to be chaos emeralds anywhere to be found in here. Desert ruins. That's so good. But then you're right back to desert ruins. Yeah, I know. I think you're giving that no. tiny wordplay no. too much credit. One word of helpful advice. Diet and exercise. No, but it was a piece of wordplay that was that was realized in a level like like I'm in a desert world. All the levels are deserts, and then there's just one level that is not a desert at all because it's all desserts. Because the I get it. I mean, I get it. That's funny. Yeah, but it's not like oh my god, I'm being blown away by the standards of the Sonic series. Absolutely. It okay, is. by the standards of this game specifically. No, I would say the whole. Thing franchise. Nothing in Sonic has ever been that clever, ever. Clever, ever. Ever. Hmm. You look like a giant blueberry oh, well, Ah! Like there's like a... There's a real John C. Riley vibe to this, this deadly Six's voice. Yeah, what's, what's he doing? 
A lot. You could probably voice a guy in a Sonic game. He just sounds a lot like if, if uh, Wreck-It Ralph was supposed to be like a dumb villain. You know the thing is? Sonic Generations apparently sold really well. Really? Like by the standards of the Sonic franchise, it sold exceedingly well. Why would they let go of that? I don't know. Oh, hey, remember this? Oh, I'm controlling with my finger. Your time's gonna run out. Not if I get a new one, bitch. There's a crazy drill thing coming out of my gamepad. Drill Mu noise? Yeah, the music. Yeah. I mean, if you could call that music. I would call it aggressive percussion. Ah, come on! Fuck! You're good. I like how the tunnel is collapsing in behind you. Yeah, where the fuck am I going? Up. Oh, good thinking, buddy. Thanks. You decided not to get that 10? Oh, come on. Oh, I can just control with my control stick. Well, in that case, good God. Why would I even bother? Just go down to the bottom again. Up, yeah, and up there. Great. This is thrilling. So, I mean... The game does have a lot in common with colors. Yeah, I know. And it it even kind of it plays like colors a little bit. You know, you got the double jump and like the... Generations was definitely better than colors. Yes. The some 3D some stuff, people would disagree with me. Those people can go get fucked. The 3D stuff seems more like Generations, though. Is it not? Because Colors really didn't have any 3D stuff, really. It had a little bit. Not this, not this much. Not this much. Well, this one doesn't have a ton. Yeah, it looks like I would it's call very, this I is would very call it color. 50%. This is very Colors-esque. Yeah. I would not call That's it. That's what I was saying earlier, and you, you yelled at me. You know, I I took a little time for to realize that you were right, you know? I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong. I mean, maybe they're... I don't know. This game is even coming out like, uh... When did... When did Generations come out? Was it... 2011? 11. Was it 2010 or 2011? It was 2011, 20 because that was 20 years after 91. Yeah. Alright. I thought it was really weird that they went two years... Some of the Sonic releases have been almost annual. They went like two years without even talking about another Sonic game. Yeah. I like how sometimes... Because that was the only time I had ever been anticipating the announcement of the next... Uh, how did that fucking tornado catch up with you when you had started going faster? I don't know, man. This... The announcement of Sonic Lost World was the only Sonic announcement that I had anticipated in a long time because I really liked Generations. So I was like, oh man, when the, is the next Sonic game coming out? It could be good. It could be good. Yeah. It could be, could good. be good. There are no guarantees when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog. You should stop going back and getting those. The people, the people that made the Sonic games you like, all the wonderful Sonic memories that you have, those people are all dead. R.I.P. Ryan Davis. Yeah. Come on, what is this garbage? What's what's gar oh that do you just stop for no reason? Yeah, because I hit the like the back. What screen. why does it keep getting so close to you when you're going faster? Because if it stops, then I can't go fa farther on the screen. We should do a let's play of Sonic Mega Mix. Fuck it. Sonic Mega Man? Yeah. Mega Mix. Sonic Mega Man? Yeah. Sonic Mega Mix? Oh, fuck you. Oh, I thought that was still a cutscene. No. They're really leaning into the fact, I think, for them. Did 
Did he just shit that out? Let's do it. Oh, I don't have to use my touch screen at all for these things. That's nice. I thought you figured that out already. I don't even have to use it to initiate it, though. Which I thought I did. It see, it, I feel like it gave me that impression, which apparently was not true. Why did they make you do that? Do what? That whole thing where they you would like chase after him, but there was no. Because it was, was just like fun, was Keith. Because the game we're having fun together. But what is that? Is doing that fun? No. It feels like maybe that's the impression that they have. Did you decide just not to get any coins? I tried. They're rings. God. What did I say? Coins. I don't know. Coins oh, and fuck. Rings. What, what's the difference between rings and coins anyway? A middle part. I think you just spin dash into it. You're probably right. The fact that it looks like he's facing the wrong way when you're spin dashing is very distracting. Yeah, it is. Because I always just want to be like, Kyle, you're facing the wrong way, you idiot, you dumb idiot. But no, you're right. It's just this game is bad. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're spin dashing the wrong way. This game is bad. Hey, Sonic Team, could you stop making bad games? And by that, I mean games where Sonic looks like he's spin dashing a different way. It seems like you're more forgiving about this game than I am. Is that the case? No, you're right. It, it kind of struck me in a funny way. It struck me as, as, like, you giving that as the reason that this game was bad. It's one of them. It's yeah. very distracting. Hey, Sonic Team, stop distracting me with your bullshit. Oh, come on, man. That one's way taller. Well, okay. Are you done, or...? Great. We gotta go! It's dinner time! Of course. It's dinner time, Keith. Ugh. When have I been collecting flickies? This whole time. Really? Yeah, little flicks. Every time, you, I think every time you kill an enemy, you get a little flicky. That's probably the case. I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich. And you still disappoint me. I'm a compassionate mm. man. That Poor shell man, looks like trouble. Me. Hold on a second. Torture's a shell. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is... <sighs> Eggman's shell is gone. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. Mistake. Yeah. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? That's how you solve when problems. It's the only thing keeping six angry Zeti from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> There's Zeti. Duh. Oh yeah, it's way worse that his robot X robots are shooting a robot. Yeah, you're right. I'm really upset about this. This really changes the game yeah, I mean, at all. Now they're shooting at Sonic 2, but they already were. Yes! Yeah. Pirate voice! That's kind of a douche move. Also, it's just bad strategy. Dude can't die. Yeah. So. One, dude can't die. Two, he's been rolling with you for 20 plus years. I think he got it. 
at least 20 plus. Orbot and Qbot were their names. Yeah, I don't care. Are you gonna like have to team up with uh, Robot Nick now? Oh, I mean, I don't know about Robot Nick. I'll probably have to team up with Robot Nick. What? A, but like the robot wait, how version. How did I say it? The robot Nick. I don't know. I think that's how <laughs> the robot version of Nick is never. <laughs> I mean, I really see no strategy, uh, strategic advantage in teaming up with Robot Nick. But or Doctor, did he call himself Robot Nick earlier, or did he call himself Eggman? I totally didn't catch which I, one he's going by now. Whatever. It's very important to me. Still, somehow. I don't know. You know, It's I, not important to me if he's still calling out of Eggman. It is important to me if they switch back. He... He might have switched back. This is a really good looking level. What if I touch this? That looks nice. Can we agree? Can we agree on that? This looks nice. This is a really... This is the best looking level yet. That water has some really cool shading on it, whatever it is. Oh, hey, remember those guys? Yeah, little walkers. They're called uh, egg ponds or whatever. Whoa, pop in, slow down, what up? Look at that pop in. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty that bad is, pop in. Oh my god, the... What are those things? Little chicken, chicken man. Remember from Sonic 2? Remember yeah, these yeah, guys? Yeah, I remember those guys. Remember we were like calling them clucks and people were like, Oh god, they're not clucks, they're this thing. Or something. I don't remember. Based on a lesson of blah 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 blah. <laughs> they're not called air, or they're not called bat vultures, they're called air screamers. And they're based on a lesson's interpretation <laughs> of the pterodactyls as illustrated in The Lost World by one of her... Oh, as illustrated in one of her favorite novels, The Lost World, by nice. Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah. Sorry. I had a little little bit of trouble getting that out. Where am I going? Where am I doing? What's, what is Anyone this? would besides that one guy. They're not called bat vultures. They're called air screamers. And they're based on Alessa's interpretations of the, air, of the pterodactyls as illustrated in one of her favorite books, The Lost World, by Arthur Conan Doyle. Are you collecting Butterfreeze? What is going on? I should be, right? Or Man, you remember the episode of Pokemon where Ash let his Butterfree go? That was fucked up, yeah. right? <sighs> Should've kept the Raticate. Raticate's dope. Raticate is dope. What the fuck is this? What is this? I can't believe he basically let, like, that, that old dude... Basically... Like... He was so uncomfortable with that trading. If you do, you remember that episode? I mean, not. He was like so. He was like as uncomfortable as like you'd think that he's doing some sort of sexual harassment. Like that's how uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you would remember that because you're a lunatic who's like watched Pokemon again in the past ten years. So yeah, I when I, I was. I've talked about this before. I had strep throat for one summer, and I was in bed for a long time, and I rewatched all of Pokemon and all of Digimon. Well, who could blame you for watching all of Digimon? That just makes sense. It's a quality program. It's all on Netflix. Great. Really? Yep. Huh. Remember I bought that bootleg box set of Digimon Season oh. 1? No. Oh. What, what, what was bootleg about it? It was not. A, there is no official DVD box set of really of Digimon. I didn't even realize that. I mean, I don't care, but I didn't realize that at the time. I bought it. It was like, it's it's a nice looking box set. The discs are all nice. The one problem is that the um, it's all in like check. <laughs> one of the discs. Can't understand a word. One of the. It would be nice if it had the Japanese version on it. It doesn't have that. But one of the discs is fucked up so that there's at least one episode that's basically unwatchable. And it's like the episode where they find out that Kari is the eighth child and Gatomon becomes good or whatever. It's basically like the most important episode in the whole show. And it's the one that it doesn't work. That so that's a bummer. But apparently it's on Netflix. So it's on not Netflix, not that I would fun. even watch it again anyway. But Why not? I don't know. When was the last time you watched it? I don't know. Five years? Ten years? I mean, when I bought the box set, I didn't even, like, really watch the whole thing. I just watched some of it. 
I think I watched like all of the My Otis Mom saga because that was always my favorite part. It's only 40 episodes. You could have watched 40 episodes of a 20 minute long. That's a fucking lot, man. That's not that much. The 20 minutes long. That's a lot. No. It's a lot considering it's a children's show and it's like not that good. It is that good. It's that good compared to other children's shows. Sure. But I'm also not watching other children's shows, so. That Myotis Mon stuff is really good, though. Ooh. Or I could get Lucas into Digimon. And then I could just watch Digimon and if he. And then he <sighs> would be the cool kid. Probably that's, too violent. That's how you become, no, it's not. It's for cartoons. But he's four. But there's no blood. There's no, like, the only thing that happens is one guy says pepper breath and shoots fire at some other guy. Yeah, but they... And they're not even guys. They're dinosaurs. The kids, I mean, like, the kids get into fist fights and stuff. No, they don't. That's already, like, too violent. Like, this, the stuff that kids watch when they're four doesn't even have, like, conflict. It does. Sesame Street has conflict. No, it doesn't. It does. It's the whole point of Sesame Street. Oh, not, yeah. Not, like, fight. Like, I mean, not physical conflict, but emotional conflict. <laughs> That's how kids learn. You're right. Digimon teaches kids. Digimon is for the children. How did you die? What did you do? Who cares? Well, now you know that you can do two at once. Remember that time when we started a Digimon World Let's Play and they didn't finish it? Yeah, it was your fault. Didn't even come close to finishing it. That was it. way your fault. I want to keep doing it. You're right. We could. I mean, I don't know. One day we should also just finish fucking Dumb too. Oh, man. Also your fault, by the way. Sure. People ask me all the time, when are you going to finish Digimon? When are you going to finish Binary Domain? And I'm saying, and I keep telling them, don't ask me, ask Kyle. Those are both his fault. Here, I'll, I'll say this, though. The, people, the number of people that ask when Binary Domain and Digimon are coming back are, like, the, the same people number of people that ask like when is the next Mario episode when there hasn't been a Mario episode in like two weeks so yeah. alas poor Cubot I knew him well Arr, me voice chips all cattywampus <laughs> <laughs> wait can you pause for a second what I want to go over something I don't know how I don't know if I can alright because if I push start, I'll skip it. inhibitor to their powers. Very. There we go. Okay, there's a there's a Geico commercial that okay. drives me crazy every fucking time I see it. Where it's two paintings, one of a guy holding a little white dog, and one of a bunch of dogs playing poker, and they're talking to each other, and like the dude that's holding the dog is the most annoying guy in the world and at one point he says the word cattywampus a word i've never heard before <laughs> and and i and i swore to myself that anytime i heard that word i would be mad that just made me laugh yeah the fact that he said that that is such a weird thing to swear to yourself i yeah well i've because it's it was on hulu and i would see that commercial like four times every time i watch an episode of anything oh, cattywampus <laughs> and very That's very rare. funny. The Zeti have an innate ability to manipulate magnetic fields. They can make electronics, including my mechs, do interesting things. Why wasn't he using that technology? Powers with the conch until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Well, get lost, Eggman, and let us get things under control. I hope the Zeti eat you alive. Meddling hedgehog. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hands. Raising my hand. Is he Orbot? That's fine. See, Orbot and Cuba are totally the best. Yeah, the fucking. All the stuff with the Deadly Six in this is so lame. Right? Yeah. Is this a pocket watch or something? I don't need it. It's the Dragon Raider, you dummy! <laughs> they could get you the Dragon Balls, you don't even know, man! Sonic's so dumb! God, finally!